With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello dear students, so we are given with a question, the breakdown in a reverse bias p-n junction diode is more likely to occur. So we need to uh, find the reason why there is a, a breakdown in reverse bias p-n junction diode. So uh, first uh, let's try to uh, construct p-n junction diode, how exactly it looks like. So let's take over here. Let's suppose uh, this is the diode in which there is a section uh, p and a section n. Right? So let's suppose it as p and n all right when uh, it is said to be reverse bias when we uh, connect the negative terminal of the battery to p side and positive terminal of the battery to n type all right so this condition is known as reversed bias condition all right so uh, also we need to keep in mind uh, in reverse bias the minority charge carriers uh, constitute current all right so current in reverse biased condition is due to minority charge carrier minority charge carriers all right so this is the important point we need to keep in mind by minority charge carrier, I mean uh, in the P type, electron electron behaves as a minority charge carrier, and in N type, holes behave as a minority charge carrier. All right. When we increase uh, the voltage, the crossing of the minority charge carrier across the junction. This is the junction. This is the junction point. All right. So crossing of the holes in electron takes place more and more when we increase the voltage all right and uh, this uh, crossing of minority charge carrier results into collision and this collision leads to the breakdown of the circuit all right so the reason for breakdown is the reason for breakdown is the collision of uh, minority charge carrier across the junction so if we increase the voltage so more and more uh, minority charge carrier will cross the junction uh, and this crossing of junction will lead to that is uh, uh, if we try to draw the scenario over here electron will move over here the holes will move over here and this will lead to the formation uh, crossing of junction and the collision in between them and this result into the breakdown this happens because next important point we must keep in mind is this scenario happens because uh, when the doping is low for uh, for door looping, we, uh, we need to keep in mind for uh, low doping, the concentration of majority charge carriers is very low and uh, due to which minority charge carrier easily crosses the junction. All right. But if the doping is high, what will happen? The majority charge carrier concentration will increase and this will affect the uh, means uh, crossing of the junction of minority charge carrier. So for low doping, a uh, majority charge carrier for low doping majority carrier concentration is low all right so uh, it will not affect the minority charge carrier from crossing the junction if the doping level is high majority charge con concentration is more and it will affect the minority charge carrier and that uh, that in turns will uh, prevent the breakdown from happening all right so the condition necessary is low doping and uh, the large velocity of minority carrier so uh, this breakdown is also termed as avalanche breakdown so as per the option given large velocity of the minority charge carrier if the doping concentration is small this answer is correct let's check further option large velocity of minority charge carrier if the doping concentration is large this is not an incorrect uh, this is an incorrect option because uh, if the doping concentration is high minority charge concentration will be very high and that will prevent minority charge carrier from crossing the junction so this is an incorrect option strong electric field in the depletion layer if the doping is small this is again an incorrect option doping if the doping is high uh, electric field depletion layer will be more so this is also an incorrect option and none of this is 
also incorrect because uh, our option A is the correct answer. Hope you have understood the concept. Thank you for watching. For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.